Whenever I post about high polyphenol olive oil, I always get a barrage of questions and, and, and comments, um, and I understand it. I understand that there have been so many subtle changes in, the, in a product that we all just assumed is very healthy for us and, and provides health and is good for us, and even according to the American Heart Association, heart healthy, um, it, it's far from that sometimes. You know, the recent um, comments that I've had include everything in the gamut, like what brand should I buy? Where should the olive oil come from? Someone the other day said, um, I heard you should buy it in X country or Y country. I don't even want to mention countries. Or, you know, buy it in a, in a glass bottle, which is good. Buy it in a dark glass bottle. That's even better. Um, read the label. Uh, make sure it's not in, in plastic. Uh, buy it. Know your grower. Know the local grower. Um, it's just a, a million of questions and what olive oil should I be purchasing? Should I be using in my kitchen? And what's the whole story about polyphenols? Well, let me just back up a little bit. I've been following the olive oil story for uh, 10 years now because olive oil is such a ubiquitous product in kitchens and restaurants throughout the world. But it's not all creative equally, created equally, and it's not doesn't all have the same health benefits. In fact, some of it can even be bad for us. So there needs to be an education so that we understand what we are consuming and how to find the very best product possible. Um, so as it turns out, over the last 10, 15 years, what we thought was just this great product has been undergoing some changes during commercialization. Um, there are many levels of quality of olive oil, which are not always on the label, especially in the United States. We really don't have a, an agency that, um, that measures for quality. Uh, there are just a few parameters, and then olive oil is coming into the country by the, by the tons, literally the tons. Um, so that is something that's really necessary. How does the average person even find a local grower and know how that grower is treating the olives and pressing the olives and when the harvest happened? It's all, all very important. Um, so let me just start by saying that I have never uh, endorsed a brand because even brands, even well-known brands of olive oil can have ranges of quality, which you may or may not know by just looking at the label. And I've never really found one, uh, a grower, that will actually provide a, a report, a report as to their, their olive oil has been uh, pressed, it's been tested, there's a report back, what is the nutritional composition of that oil and how fresh it is. So I'm really happy to say that after this long, long saga, I have found a company, I have found a family that is dedicated to quality that I will be able to uh, refer you to uh, where you can get this great EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, with so many of the attributes, the right bottle, the right olives, the right soil in the ground, the right uh, technique for picking, the right pressing, the, the lab result, um, the, the openness about the quality, the dedication, which is becoming less and less when it comes to producing olive oil. And lastly, one that will actually provide olive oil to additional people because in uh, Europe this summer with the, call it climate change, whatever we would like to call it, with the drought, the extreme heat, the leaves have been fried on trees just by the, by the weather. The drought has been tremendous. There's going to be 30% less of good olive oil available in the world. And Europeans, and I can speak for Italians for sure, are very knowledgeable about their olive oil and they're very touchy about it. So a lot of it is going to get purchased up in the countries where it's produced and the people that know the difference in quality. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be able to offer something to you very, very soon. Stay tuned. It won't be much longer. And I know that uh, when, you, when you really educate yourself, 
and you taste the difference and you know the difference for your health that um, you're going to love it. Hopefully you'll love me a little more for it too because it took me years to find this. So that's it for now. Talk to you soon.